sorry. Hi, girlies. It's me, Johnny82, and I'm here with another tutorial. I know, like, I'm on a roll, right? So, yeah, I'm kind of excited about that, that I'm back to tutorials, because that's what I really, really like to do, even though y'all see me haul a lot. But, um, this tutorial is going to be on Sparkle Till Morning, another Wet n' Wild limited edition, um, palette. And this palette... I use every color <laughs> except for this one. And I don't know. I just didn't have a fully, really have a need for it. But that's the only color I didn't use. So um, I'm still gonna do try to do two looks with each palette. So um, let me just go ahead and get started. For my um, primer, you already know I use my Elf um, Eyelid Primer and Sheer. For my base, I use um, the color Tattoo in 300 um, Gold Shimmer. And it looks like that right there. And once again, I applied it with this Thorio Hip um, Pigment um, Brush. I love this is my go-to brush for my um, color tattoos because I know they say any synthetic brush, but it's small enough and it can get into the corners and everything. It's for me, this is the perfect brush for the color tattoos. Well, actually, any potted base that I decide to use. So I put that on. Yeah, already. And then I went in with the palette and I took this crease color right here and I blended that out. Next, I'm going to take a large fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take that, um, this brow bone color and place that under my brow like that I hope y'all can see I hope there's not your light hold on it has to be hope it's not washing it out and then I'm going to take some more of that same um, crease color and blend it into the highlight. Like so. Next, I'm going to take this um, Sunny Tashik brush. I don't know. It's, I guess a small shader brush. And I'm going to go into this gold color right there. And I'm going to pat that on my entire lid on top of that um, color tattoo. And I'm going to kind of blend out the edges though, but patting motion for everything else. I'm going to take that same brush and wipe it off on this clean white um, wash rag I have. And now I'm going to go into this coppery color right here above the two. And I'm going to put that on the second half on top of that gold color. This is my second time using this palette, and I wanted to do a look recreating the first look I did with this palette, but I actually like this one better. Now I'm just going to take that brush and just blend out those two colors together. Like so. Then I'm going to blend out my crease again. I'm going to add a little bit more of that copper color. It's not really coming out the way I... There it is. It's not showing the way I want it. It's not as pigmented as the other colors. Next, I'm going to take another clean blending brush. And this dark color right here, You very lightly. Please use this color very lightly because it is so pigmented. And I'm kind of just putting it on the tip of the brush. And I'm just going to draw my outline to kind of be sharp like this side. 
and then I'm going to bring it into my V. start to blend it out and bring it around and bring it above my crease a little getting extremely hot. I feel like I'm having a hot flash. I'm going to go back into that first blending brush I have and go back into that same crease color. This crease color is really like perfect transition color for me because it doesn't really show up on my skin, but so now I'm just going to take a clean wipe and I'm going to clean up the outside like that for my um, bottom lash line I'm going to use this Milani Shadow Eyes 24 Hour Wear Shadow Pencil in 05 Aquatic Style like so I'm going to take this Equal Tooth Mudger brush and I'm going to go into the teal color in this palette and I'm going to smudge it on top of the Milani pencil. For my liner, I'm going to use my, um, my L'Oreal Extra Intense Black Liner. And to me, this is like, it's really like a, um, a liquid liner. And I'm actually going to use um, this smudger brush also. So I'm just going to... I'm not going to place it all the way at the beginning of my eye because I'm going to smudge it down. And then I'm going to kind of follow the line I created with the baby wipe and I'm going to go right along that and connect it to my top line like that. And I'm going to go ahead and start smudging it. You can always go back and add more liner if you need to. But it gives you the illusion of a of a liquid liner. And so I just smudge it like that. Okay. Oh, I feel like I got the heat on. I think I'm a little too young for high flashes, maybe just a little. I'm going to use this um, Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara, and I'm not using any lashes. 
So um, this is how it looks on this eye. And I just kind of just kept putting coat after coat. And that completes the look. So once again, this is a look with the Sparkle to Morning palette. And I use every color in here except for this eyelid color. And this is what I came up with. I hope you like it. And I'll be back with another tutorial. Oh, actually on my lips. What did I do with it? I'm just going to, I already tied EOS on my lips. I'm just going to use um, this brown liner by Wet n Wild. And I'm going to use this Oh Glossy Gloss and Sweet Salmon. I'm going to use it very lightly. So I haven't done my foundation yet, but I'm going to do that off camera. So once again, this is the Sparkle to the Morning palette. And I'll probably come back and do a quick face of the day with my foundation and blush. So I'll catch you girlies in the next video. Bye.